Hello guys, welcome to my channel and today let's talk about the difference between Wakizashi and Tanto. Those two weapons may uh, be confused because they share the same role on the arsenal of the samurai as the short blade for fighting at very close quarters. And those two weapons were used for self-defense inside the samurai home. Uh, but what is the difference between those two blades? Uh, when we look at, at those, we can see that there is an immense uh, difference in size of the blades. I've been studying about Wakizashi and Tanto uh, to record this video and uh, some swordsmiths uh, claim that uh, the difference between uh, Tanto and Awakizashi is usually uh, around the measure of one shaku. If it's longer, it's Awakizashi. If it's shorter, it's a Tanto. Awakizashi means side sword, okay? uh, and Tanto means short sword. Uh, those two terms don't say too much, uh, but when we look at the construction of those two blades, we can see the real difference between them, and it's not only the length of the blade. Uh, when we look closely at the Wakizashi, we can see that it's practically a uh, katana. It's a short katana, okay? yeah, it's a, a little shorter uh, than a regular katana, uh, but the scabbard saya is the same, uh, the tsuba is the same too. Uh, some examples don't have uh, the same large uh, guard, uh, the same tsuba, some don't have uh, tsuba at all. And uh, the handle is the same uh, pattern of a katana, and sukaito, all the, the fittings are the same of a katana. Uh, when it comes to the blade, uh, it's also uh, the same shape of katana, but it's shorter. There is a term uh, used to this kind of blade, uh, which is kodachi. Kodachi also means short saber or short, short sword. And uh, all the techniques, uh, or, or, or most, most of the techniques used by the katana may be shared with this kind of sword. It cuts the same way, it stabs the same way, uh, you can block using uh, almost the same uh, techniques of katana, but uh, it's shorter, so you need to get closer to your enemy. And uh, as the, the handle is shorter, uh, sometimes you don't uh, have a possibility of uh, holding the sword with the two hands. Uh, in this case, uh, I can hold uh, my, my wakizashi uh, with two hands, but uh, with a blade this short it's more useful if I keep this hand free to grab my enemy and stab him with the blade, okay? And uh, the Wakizashi was the blade uh, chosen by ninjas to attack uh, houses of uh, one enemy target uh, because being shorter means the sword is more suitable to um, fight on close, uh, close environments. Okay, so inside the home, inside the house, uh, the the short sword is more useful than a long sword like the katana. And uh, another important uh, feature is the blade geometry. Usually, it has the shinogi zukuri uh, geometry. So if you we can exaggerate. Uh, the geometry of this blade is like uh, the spine uh, has a, a, a little angle, then uh, it comes to a flat uh, like this, then the bevel that is the, the sharp edge of the blade. This is called Shinogi Zukuri, is the main geometry found on Japanese blades like the Wakizashi and the Katana and also the Nodachi and other larger blades. Now looking at the Tanto, uh, it's shorter, okay, uh, but it's not only that. The blade of uh, Tanto is a little different. 
then uh, then the wakzashi and the katana. This one, uh, I hope you can see, it's flat all the way down from the, the spine to the edge. And the other side uh, is the same. This pattern is called Hirazukuri. Okay? Uh, it's very common on uh, this kind of blade, the Tanto. Uh, I never had seen a katana or a wakizashi with a Hirazukuri. Okay? Uh, but uh, there are many other uh, types of geometry used on Tanto. Uh, the Shinogi Zukuri could be used uh, to Tanto uh, as well, but uh, Hirazukuri is more common. And there is also some examples of Tantos that have blades very similar to spearheads. The, the tanto uh, may assume some forms that we don't see on katanas and wakizashi. Okay, and not only that, uh, the earlier examples of uh, tantos are straight blades. This one uh, has a little curvature. Okay, but some examples also have a slightly uh, negative curvature near the tip. And being uh, a, a blade that is shorter and almost straight uh, makes this blade better suitable for stabbing. And uh, when it comes to short blades like uh, Tanto, uh, stabbing is the best uh, tactic when you are at a close range with your enemy. And you may also use this kind of blade very effectively at uh, a reverse grip, okay? The reverse grip uh, is very rare on katanas. Uh, there are some techniques where you draw the blade using the reverse grip, then you change to the normal grip and uh, go slash your enemy. Uh, there are some, uh, some schools that uses ko uh, kodachi or wakizashi, and I saw that some of them um, have some techniques where the wakizashi is held on the reverse grip, but it's not the majority. Okay, uh, when it comes to wakizashi, they maybe use it uh, on reverse grip, especially when aiming uh, some um, upper targets like the dispersion of the shoulder and the neck. Okay, it's more easy to attack using reverse grip than using the normal grip. And uh, also, if you had uh, fallen uh, from a technique uh, or you manage to throw your enemy and you fall uh, alongside with him, it's more easier to use a short blade at the ground, uh, like some, something similar to judo. Uh, it would be easier to use a short blade like the tanto than a wakizashi or a katana. Last, uh, this kind of blade, especially kaiken and short tantos, were very popular between uh, samurai women because it's more um, convenient to carry around uh, on the obi, on the, the waist, okay? Uh, because uh, it does doesn't have the the tsuba. It's a very small, short, convenient blade to carry around and uh, this way uh, the samurai woman uh, will not be defenseless if they had to defend herself against uh, an assailant. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel and if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Well, uh, I hope you liked this video. 